Guendouzi for Kante and Torreira for Partey. Could it happen? And Arsenal travel to Leicester in the Carabao Cup. Hi and welcome to Stay Goon. I hope you're all doing well and keeping safe. This is the Red and White Board Show, bringing you Arsenal and football news and views. Tomorrow evening, Arsenal take on Leicester City in the third round of the Carabao Cup. It promises to be an exciting clash with both sides having made good starts to the new campaign. There will likely be changes made though, so I wanted to do a predicted XI for the game. Before I get into that though, let's round up all the latest Arsenal transfer news and rumours. If you're new here, make sure to hit that subscribe button and get the bell on. Right then, Runar Alex Runarsson has completed his move to Arsenal as was widely expected. Formerly of French side Dijon, the 25-year-old Icelandic keeper has signed a four-year deal in what looks to have been a fairly straightforward switch. The transfer fee is somewhere around the £1.6 million mark and he's been assigned a number 13 shirt. Edu revealed that Arsenal had been monitoring him for a while. Our goalkeeping coach Inyaki Pavan worked with him previously in Norway and Edu added that he fits the profile of goalkeeper they're looking for. Arteta was also pleased with the addition, saying he wants to create healthy competition in every position. It remains to be seen if he will be good competition for Leno, having let Martinez go, who made a terrific start at Villa, saving a penalty in their 1-0 win over Sheffield United last night. Hopefully Runarsson can develop into another top keeper for us. Welcome to Arsenal, Runar Alex Runarsson. Also in the news this week, we've been linked with a sensational swap deal involving Matteo Guendouzi and Chelsea's N'Golo Kante. That one has come from right out of the blue, if you'll excuse the pun. Guendouzi has been exiled by Arteta since the Brighton game during Project Restart and currently there's very little to suggest he'll be brought back in. It's no secret that Arsenal are trying to offload him but will Chelsea let go of Kante? Lampard has said he doesn't want to with the player being linked with the move to Inter Milan also. I don't know how much truth there is in this swap deal. I find it hard to believe but we have signed a few of their players over the years and have previous swap deal history also. I don't know how to feel about this one. Kante is a good player, but I really want Partey. Let me know down below your thoughts. A player that could be departing us is Skodran Mustafi, who's been linked with a move to either Napoli or Lazio. Mustafi is still recovering from an injury he picked up at the back end of last season. Prior to that, he was a regular star under Arteta. But he could be let go now. I believe he's just got a year left on his contract and we're well stocked at centre back. We certainly could do with the money also and it's reported we'll be looking for around £13 million for him. A considerable loss on the £35 million we paid for him but he's been with us a few years now and I think it would be good business. Another defender that could be moving on is Callum Chambers, with West Ham being linked with a loan move for him. Chambers is also currently injured but on the way back and he's a player that has been loaned out in the past. At the start of last season he was playing really well and it looked like he might finally be able to become a regular first teamer but changing team selections by Unai Emery and then his injury put an end to that. West Ham boss David Moyes is said to be looking for a centre back and a right back. Two positions that Chambers can play so they could be getting two for the price of one. Newcastle are also said to be interested with Arsenal willing to loan him out or sell him for around £12 million. And to wrap up the transfer rumours, the second swap deal we're being linked with involves Lucas Torreira and Thomas Partey. Apparently Atletico Madrid really like Torreira and they're looking into the possibility of signing him and with Arsenal's interest in Thomas Partey no secret, could a swap deal be on the cards? It would be an ideal outcome for cash-strapped Arsenal, Torreira is unsettled and he wants to move. Add 10 or 15 million pounds to that and the party could begin. But unfortunately this looks highly unlikely and has been talked down. Atletico are not willing to negotiate. Partey is rumoured to have already agreed some personal terms with Arsenal and with less than two weeks of the window remaining, a late and sensational triggering of his release clause could happen. I think it would break the internet.
All the links and rumours will likely continue, no doubt. But in the meantime, there's games to be played and we've got one tomorrow night. Leicester hosts us in the Carabao Cup and it won't be easy. Both sides have made 100% starts to the Premier League campaign, but I expect they'll be weakened sides tomorrow evening. So let's get into my predicted XI. Burnt Leno will be rested, but will Runarsson go straight in? It is a possibility, but I think Matt Macy will get the nod. Gabriel and Holding have played the full 90 minutes in both our games so far, so I'm guessing they both will be rested, and as will Tierney who had an injury scare on Saturday. Louise needs minutes, so I predict he'll start with Kolasinac on the left uh, centre-back role and William Saliba will come in on the right centre-back. At left wing back I expect to see Ainsley Maitland now coming back in, he didn't play on Saturday and Hector Bellerin to be rested at right wing back with Cedric Soares coming in for him. In midfield, Granit Xhaka will likely be rested also, there was a slight concern for him before the West Ham game but he did manage to get through that. I think El Nerni will come in for him though and Danny Ceballos will make way for Joel Willock. We got a tough trip to Anfield next up and Arteta will want to keep his guys fresh for that game. That's why I think the front three will all be changed as well. I think Pepe will start on the left side, Nelson on the right side and Saturday's super sub Eddie Nketiah will start through the middle. That's my predicted lineup. Let me know yours in the comments down below and your score predictions too. I think it will be an open game and we will nick it 3-2 and I fancy Pepe getting on the score sheet. That's just about it folks, thanks to everyone for watching, remember to hit that subscribe button and the thumbs up, wherever you are in the world, stay safe and stay gooned.